Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Welcome to my case reviews for the iPhone 12 Pro launch. So today I'm here with one of my favorite case lines from OtterBox, the Otter Plus Pop Symmetry Series cases. So these are great cases for all you Pop Sockets fans out there. Essentially what we have here is an integrated pop grip spilt right into the symmetry case. So you get that symmetry case protection in a much slimmer form factor with your pop grip already attached on. It's going to slide much more easily in and out of pockets and handbags. Lots to love here. Let's check out these cases in a bit more detail on my iPhone 12 Pro and Pacific Blue. Looking at the construction of this case, this is very similar to the construction of a regular symmetry case. You've got nice slimline construction. This is made of a hard polycarbonate and hard rubber material. Not much give at all to this case. Obviously we have our integrated pop grip here. You can see it causes the case to protrude slightly on the interior, but I think it's fine. doesn't seem like it's going to cause any problems for your phone. Putting your phone in this case is quite tight. Works best to start from the top. Put in your top area and press in the sides and then go down to the bottom and press the phone the rest of the way in. Once on, we have a good fit on the phone and everything looks really good, but I wouldn't recommend this for frequent case changers given that it is difficult to install. So fit-wise, a little bit of give here over your volume up and down buttons and your side button to a lesser extent. Also, some give over your port opening area, but overall I think that the fit is good. We have plenty of lip here to protect your screen. I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. This is the mouse tempered glass screen protector. Good fit with this case. Going down here to our port openings, we have an asymmetrical port opening design to match the asymmetrical port design of the phone, so that is excellent. Should be able to fit many third-party lightning cables here, so that is great. So going up the sides here, you have a combination of hard rubber on the top and polycarbonate on the bottom. This gives it overall a low to mid amount of grip. Feels nice in the hand. Going up here to our buttons, they are excellent, very clicky, very responsive, absolutely no issues there. And we have plenty of space here to access your mute switch, no problems. So looking here at the top, we have a nice view here from the top. Again, I have a tempered glass screen protector on here. This is the mouse tempered glass screen protector. If I didn't have this on here, we would have more visible lip, but we still have plenty of lip here, even with the tempered glass screen protector in place. Going here to the side, we got some OtterBox branding here, and then we have a very nice responsive side button. Looking at the back of the case, we got a matte polycarbonate on here with a little bit of texture. Should be quite resistant to fingerprints and scratching. Not terribly slippery. Overall, this case has a decent grip, and definitely with our pop socket on here, we have even more grip. We got plenty of protection for the protruding camera, no issues there. And then we got some OtterBox branding down here at the bottom. So for those of you that might be wondering what exactly a pop socket is and why you'd want one built into your phone case, basically it's a grip that's going to allow you to hold your phone much more securely. It's also a media stand, so you can watch movies or whatever. I will say that this year's version works better than last year's because we actually have a centered pop grip. Last year this was a little bit off-center so it didn't work as well, but this version definitely works better. And then finally, it's a fun thing to play with if you get bored. Overall, just kind of a cool addition to a case. So as I said, this pop socket is built into the case, definitely has some advantages over the traditional stick-on kind. If you look at these two here, you can see this is a much sleeker profile than that. This is going to stick up a whole lot more, so you're going to be able to slide this one much more easily in and out of pockets and handbags. However, there is one disadvantage, because this is in kind of a hollow, that you do actually have a little bit more finger room with the traditional stick-on pop socket as opposed to the built-in kind here. So you look at these two, you definitely have a bit more space for your fingers here than here. It's not a huge difference, it's probably only a big deal for people who have really large fingers. For me, it's only a very small difference and it really doesn't matter a whole lot but I can scoot my fingers a little bit further in this one as opposed to the built-in version in the Otter Plus Pop. 
One additional drawback to be aware of is in the area of wireless charging. You're probably going to need to remove your pop top if you want to do wireless charging with this case. That is, unless you happen to have a specialty wireless charger like the Pop Power by Pop Sockets. This one is designed specifically for the use of cases that have a pop socket attached, so it is going to work perfectly. However, if you don't have that, you're probably going to need to remove that pop top. And as far as MagSafe charging is concerned, not only is this not going to work with the pop top attached, it's really not going to work with the pop top taken off either because the case is simply too thick. So if you're a real fan of MagSafe charging, probably this is not going to be the case for you. Finally, removing your pop top in order to wirelessly charge or to swap out for another pop top, there's so many choices available, is really quite easy. All you need to do is twist it off and then twist another one on. Really very easy to do and a great way to change the look of your phone case. Removing this case from your phone is not quite as hard as getting it on. Start in the one corner, press out there, go down to your bottom corner, Press that one out, and then the case will come off with a little bit of effort. Again, not optimal for case changers. Looking at our Daydreamer pink graphic case, very pretty. We have a glossy finish on this one as opposed to the matte finish on the other. Different look. Definitely more prone to scratching, but some people really like the glossy case look. Putting the case on your phone, again, not easy. Really not a great case for frequent case changers. Once on, we have the same fit and features as with the black case. The only real difference is that we have this glossy finish on it, which is going to be more prone to fingerprints and scratching. Everything looks really nice, just a shame that this is so difficult to get on your phone. Very nice secure grip on the phone as a result of having this pop top on here. Overall, really quite fun. And of course, it's fun to switch out your pop tops. Again, we've been looking at the Otter Plus Pop Symmetry cases for iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. These cases are available directly from OtterBox as well as from many other retailers, and they have an MSRP of $59.95. We have the black and the Daydreamer pink graphic colors that were featured in this review, as well as a white version called Polar Vortex, a purple version called Violet Dusk. There is also a white marble graphic version, and then there are two clear versions one called Stardust Pop and the other one called Clear Pop. Many thanks to the kind folks at Otterbox for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these cases, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more case and accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with the Otter Plus Pop Symmetry Series cases for iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.